my mess But the barista takes a little too long She's a caffeinated princess Full of regret of a night that... All right, we're back at Sun Tech, And as you can see, there's actually a queue today because it is the weekend for simulators. We're not gonna be doing that today. We're gonna be going to grab some food first and then checking out the McLaren exhibition. I'm going savory lunch right now because it is pretty late. Chantal's kind of breakfasty right now with a croque-monsieur. This place is uh, known for their eggs. It's called Tamagoen, which is egg. So omu rice and croque-monsieur. We're making our way up this really long escalator here at SunTech Convention Center to go finally check out McLaren. Uh, and we have some pretty exciting news today. I'll probably share with you a little bit. On Anastasia, you came along. I beg for you only when I'm dreaming. Yeah, it's like, you know, your typical supercars that you would see honestly on the streets of Singapore anyway. There are a lot of McLarens here in Singapore, to be honest. But we got to see the new unveiling. Not really unveiling, it was already there. But the <laughs> brand new McLaren Artura, which is their newest model. I know nothing about McLarens. No. The only one I was really excited about was the SLR McLaren, which is the Mercedes collab. That was like when I was in my high school days, obsessed with supercars. We are now on our way back home. The weather... It's not looking too dry out there. It's gonna be a tough qualifier, I think, but the little surprise that I wanted to mention before is we managed to get tickets for today. So we're gonna have access to zone ones through four, so all access. Uh, really excited to go check out the qualifiers from zone one. So let's go. It's 4.40 p.m. and the race doesn't start till 9, but I mean, I imagine the roads will still be damp. Probably impacts their, their tires in some way. Shout out to our friends Kat and Adam, who had three-day passes, too tired to go today. So we're loaning them for today. So thank you very much. We owe you a dinner. <laughs> All right, we're trying to pack light, but Bit of a dilemma here. All thanks to the rain. Yeah. We're, we're trying to think, do we both bring our North Face jackets or one jacket and one umbrella? Uh, umbrellas aren't ideal, but I also hate wearing jackets because it's hot and humid anyway. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Expensive isn't always better. Decathlon to the rescue! This $3 bag is also light but carries our stuff a little bit easier. So we're going with this bag and we're taking both raincoats and an umbrella. <laughs> and I bet you it's not going to rain. <laughs> <laughs> you can actually see a lot of people down there who are probably making their way to zone one because it's literally just down this road are all carrying umbrellas and you can even hear it. So as you can see, we decided to wear the raincoats because it is hard and uh, having the umbrella is not always ideal. So we'll probably stop using it once we get across this bridge. If I make it past my bedtime, I can spend some time with you. There are certain things that only after hours make me do. Don't care if you believe me, there is nothing I can say. Only what could be an outcome of a staying up today. Modesty's left. 
It is uh, 5.57. In three minutes, they're going to start the final practice. And uh, we're here at the wharf stage. There's actually a lot of people, despite how rainy it is. So we cut TLC for a few songs, but we do want to try and uh, watch some of the test runs. This is the final test run before qualifiers are tonight. So we're going to scope out the area because we haven't been to zone one, two, or three and figure out where we want to be later tonight for qualifiers. So let's go check it out. We're walking along the Singapore River right now. This is normally an area we like walking at night, uh, but it's obviously blocked off for the Grand Prix. We just came across this, which is for certain holders of tickets where they can actually exit by boat. There's a lot of wealth over here, I'm sure. <laughs> We found a pretty decent view over here. We are right at the end of the pit stop area, and I think there were some delays in the practice runs, so they're about to come out of the pit stop area, which is pretty sweet. Verstappen's and Perez, maybe, that were like top three times. And uh, now they're taking a break, and then nine o'clock is gonna be the qualifiers. Got a reset, pick up my mess, but the barista takes a little too long. She's a caffeinated princess. Some music going on under the grandstands at the float. I think this is zone three. <laughs> this is the bridge to go back to zone four where the Padang stage is. We're gonna have to come back this way later, so it's gonna be insane. We are next to the Bay Grandstands now. It took like 15 minutes. 16. Oh nice, you timed, I timed it. it. To get across the bridge to zone four. We're finally here. I think Black Eyed Peas literally just started. But what's frustrating is we have to basically walk this whole way back if we want to go to zone one to catch the qualifiers, which I think we would. Yeah, I think we should watch it from there. Yeah. Uh, but I guess the benefit is because the walk back is all on the circuit anyway, even if we're like late, 
we're still on the circuit and we can probably hear them from there anyway. All right, let's go check them out finally. And food. Oh, you hungry? Maybe. Okay, we gotta get some food too. Come on. so before they start qualifiers. Clear skies. You can still hear Black Eyed Peas in the background, but a ton of us are already heading back to find a viewing area, and we're gonna go closer to the pit stop. That way we can see them finish their qualifiers, and I imagine there's a lot of action, and also there's the TV there, so that's pretty convenient. So hopefully we don't have too much traffic on our way back. Let's go. Thank God for the wristbands, because we Faster can get... access. Yes, indeed. I think, uh... Hopefully. Heck oh, yeah. yeah. It's a lot busier over there. This is the reason why you wear... I think it's fair to say... Uh, shoes that you don't care about, or waterproof shoes. Thank you, Vessies. Sponsor us, please. <laughs> much, much quicker, less crowds. Like, you can actually feel the air is in the bridge. One thing about F1... You're gonna burn a lot of calories walking to and from a bunch of places. It's quite a long distance. We made it back to the pit stop area. And we're like two rows up from the road itself, so it should be exciting. We'll see. I can hear the engines revving. We're uh, about to get ready. He is out. So Mick Schumacher, Ocon personal best Ricardo's in sector out. one. So critical lap. He's just in it. He's close enough. Nine hundredths, Mick Schumacher. Will they get both Haas cars into Q2? Final sector. Oh, look at the way he's pushing. A lot of curb there, Rusty. He unsettled the car. Last couple of turns. For a spot in Q2. Let's go, Gunther! We're on to Q2 of qualifiers. I can't sleep. If I make it past my bedtime, I can spend some time with you. Can he get it done? He's chasing that. Unfortunately, Mick Schumacher is out in Q2. George Russell, still on track at the moment, hasn't seen the checkered flag, but he is under threat of elimination in Q2. Job by Pierre Gasly and Yuki Tsunoda, both the Alpha Tauris, into the ten. Certain things are only up to hours, make me do. Don't care if you believe me, there is nothing like driver chasing him. <laughs> He's committed to this lap. He wants his first pole in Marina Bay. Except <laughs> one, best of all for him. 28 seconds remain left in this session. Tom about 
to finish the second sector. Oh. Oh. versus Verstappen. He's really struggled in this final sector. Right out to the wall. Verstappen's like seventh, so is he gonna win it? I don't know. Is Hamilton? Maybe. Or is Ferrari gonna take it for the second time here in Singapore? Westlife is the headliner for tonight. No idea who they are, but we're not gonna bother going back to zone four. So we're just gonna check around zone one, what there is to do, maybe hang a little bit, and then uh, probably just walk home and call it a night and get ready for tomorrow's race day for Singapore Grand Prix. because we got some VIP. Alright, Chantal needs to eat because she's starting to fall asleep. I am too. But it's race day and here we are about to eat some dinner. just finished dinner uh, it's inside a mall and it's connected to our uh, where we live so we haven't really checked outside but I was looking at a lot of Instagram posts and it sounds like it's gonna be really wet and lo and behold we're walking outside to get ready to go to the MRT station and this is what we're seeing Come in, What's our plan right now? We're gonna go home. We're gonna <laughs> drink some Red Bull. Gotta and stay awake. We're gonna see what's the plan for later. The good thing is we'll take the train to Marina Bay, so yeah. we'll be indoors the entire time. But I'm just like thinking, once we start heading home late in the morning, we usually we like yeah, to Yeah, don't walk. think about that. Okay. Don't think about it. It'll be cleared up by then for sure. But yeah, no. It's we'll crazy though. I can't believe it's raining. I know, it's like really, really it's hard, like really bad. So yeah. let's go check it out from the balcony. It looks like it's cleared up a little bit. There's the zone one wharf stage right now. I see some people, little ants down there. Oh, that's lightning. But it definitely isn't coming down as hard. In fact, Not everyone has umbrellas and they're walking fairly slowly, so. We're currently home, haven't left yet. Uh, it's 8.04 p.m. Rain has stopped. I haven't seen lightning in a little bit now. And I've been monitoring Twitter feeds. Chantal's monitoring the Facebook group. And I'm watching Instagram for any updates. And this is the most recent update we've seen. So it looks like the formation lap is going to start at 9.05, so about an hour delay, I guess, to the start time. We're here at Marina Bay Sands Expo Center for the Mandala Weekender. Mandala Club is a social club here in Singapore. Members only usually, but this is like an event that was open to the public for uh, the race viewing and some awesome DJs later tonight, so we're really excited for that. Sé que nos peleamos, que a muchos somos los culpables. Feels very official, like there's a lot of red, red ropes. We're general, we're not VIP. We're officially in, it was really easy because it's really early still, but we're gonna sit here and watch the race. I see some people watching the race right now. Uh, it's a huge setup, it's like a giant warehouse. I mean, it's an expo center. 
we'll try out all the free stalls here, photo booths, before everyone comes. And our tickets came with two free Heineken beer tickets. Tampoco encuentro quien a ti te gane y te mande un mensaje. Si tú quieres, vamos, nos encontramos. Siempre a de fiesta cuando tú y yo nos juntamos, lo celebramos. Le doy pa' abajo. Tú quédate arriba que a ti te encanta en la cima y así quedamos. Mía, poco me sorprende. Vamos a dejar de lo que no hace diferente. And another car out of this Singapore Grand Prix. We've lost Esteban Ocon, Alex Albon, Fernando Alonso, Nicholas Latifi, and, and Joe Guan Yu. Hamilton rejoins the race ahead of Max Verstappen. So Norris gains a place. Hamilton loses a place. Max Verstappen thinks, right, now I'm going to try and get past Lewis Hamilton. Que no eres mía, yo no soy tuyo, así que no gastemos por Lorenzo Muro. Te quise llevar para otro lugar y comerte aquí hasta septiembre, baby. Si tú quieres vamos, nos encontramos. Siempre a despierta cuando tú y yo nos juntamos los celebramos. Perez has a potential safety car infringement, but it doesn't get reviewed till after the race. So he needs to get at least a five second interval between him and Leclerc just to be safe because it would be a max of five seconds if he does get penalized. It's going to be maximum points for Sergio Perez on the streets of Singapore. It is 3 a.m. Kung's just started like 10 minutes ago. Uh, I think he's closing out. Should make it to like 4.30, but it's Monday now and it's a work day. But I think we had a pretty decent first Singapore Grand Prix. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the journey with us and uh, maybe we'll see you here next year. <laughs> We're the only ones walking, kind of went through some gates. No one stopped us, but we do have to cross the circuit route. Like all of this area is technically part of the Grand Prix circuit. So those fences might still be up. We might not even be able to cross over. This is gonna be interesting. This barricade's down. There's a lot of trucks and stuff though, so I don't know if we're allowed as pedestrians because it looks like it's all workers. So far so good. No one's stopped us still. Look for tire pieces or car pieces. Yeah, maybe we're gonna find some uh, F1 rubble. Some debris. Little debris that we can take home. So you can see that they're uh, packing up the S series cars. There's an Audi R8 right there. The secret is you pretend like you know what you're doing and where you're walking and you just follow the other people who are exiting and you should be good. So I think we've made it across the track and now it's just like parking area, I guess. I think it's safe to say we made it. So thanks for following us and good night.